Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. It is Monday and this whole week in Austin is going to be so rainy and I just have been dreading it because I feel like usually I am so lazy on rainy days, but today was actually a very good productive day. I sent out all the contracts for all my grad sessions. If you guys are new here, I'm a photographer here in Austin and grad season is quickly approaching. So I got everyone scheduled that has reached out to me and sent out those contracts. Like I said, I did something a little different today. I went to the gym at like around one-ish and it was kind of nice because it was like a midday pick me up, you know, after I was like working hard on my computer all morning. I went to the gym and then it gave me like a random burst of energy so now i'm gonna go do some errands i have a return to make i need to go get packing tape because we ran out and while i'm at heb or wherever i go i also want to get toilet paper because we're also running out of that i literally just got out of the shower i moisturized and on my face right now is glow screen from super goop and that is why i'm so shiny right now I kind of love it though. Like the first time I tried glow screen, I, it was like way too much for me. And I think I tried it in the summer. So I was like, okay, I don't want to look this glowy. Like when I'm already going to be sweating so much. But I feel like for the winter time, it just makes you look so alive. It's currently 2.35 and I really need to go make that return. Because today is like the last day I make it, of course. Um, and I need to find a big enough box. I ordered a comforter from Amazon and I took it out, put it in my duvet cover, and it was like so weird. It sounded like you were sleeping on plastic. Like we didn't sleep with it, but I put it in and just like felt it. And I was thinking it was definitely gonna like wake us up if we like turned. So I returned that and got like a way cheaper one. So it worked out. But now I need to find a big enough box because when it got here, it was like, vacuumed so it was like a lot smaller of a package and obviously i can't really like vacuum seal it so it's expanded quite a bit i'm hoping that there's like a box somewhere here in this apartment complex maybe like in the trash chute or something i'm gonna have to go hunt one down it's already so late in the day and i haven't eaten anything which is so weird because usually i'm like really hungry very early on i think i was just trying to like knock out those grad contracts and then i wanted to go work out before the gym rush so i am gonna just make some like easy sourdough and butter because that sounds really good i feel like whenever i'm back home my mom shows me like a new food or like a new snack so around the holidays she showed me this butter and it's a vegan butter and i don't know why it just like tasted so much better than the other butter she had, which wasn't vegan. So I was literally on a hunt for this. It wasn't at Central Market, so I saw it was on Target online. And then when I went to a Target, they were out of stock. So then I got it on Instacart, but I'm very excited to have my sourdough bread with my butter. Why is bread and butter literally so good? I'm still hungry and I forgot that I still have these lychees that I bought, I think last Sunday or something. And my grandma in California, my mom's grandma, she always would get us like a big cup of lychees whenever we would go there over the summer. So whenever I have lychees, I always think of her. Um, sometimes she watches my videos. So if you're watching this, Emma, I love them because of you. <laughs> um, but I do have like press on nails and usually like you dig your thumb in to like peel them. I'm not going to do that because I do not want them to like pop off. Um, so I think I'm just going to get a little knife and jam it in there. If you never had a lychee before, they are juicy. They are sweet. They are so good. It's literally about to get so juicy right now. There is a seed in the middle. So just be aware. Okay, so sometimes I guess people eat it like half of it. But I just put the whole thing in my mouth and then take the seed out. So the seed is pretty big. This is what it looks like. Dripping down my sleeve. I did my returns and now I'm cooking some Indian food, I guess. I'm making this potato cauliflower sabji and I also have like this vacuum going on right now because I have friends coming over for bachelor night. I've never made this before. And I told my mom I wanted to try out like one new Indian recipe a week. So today starts that and some of the things are gonna be pre-made, like this doll. This is why I'm making the sabji. Um, and then pre-made rice, like just like minute rice. But I am cooking something, so gotta start small.
It looks so good and I already tasted a little bit and it's so yummy. And then I'm already making like the banana bread over here. The bananas were literally black and I was like really nervous to use them. But I just Googled if you can use black bananas in banana bread and it said it's actually the best to use for banana bread. So it's gonna be good. This is the doll I'm eating tonight. It's from Trader Joe's and it smells so good. I just heated it up. So let's pour it on this rice. Then I'm just gonna add some potato subji. And lastly, I'm gonna add some mango pickle. Tuesday, I thought I would start the morning off by doing a little bit of juicing because I had these ingredients sitting in my fridge for probably like two weeks. So today is the day that they're going to be juiced. I have some kale, pineapple, um, apples, lemon, ginger, and I think I might want to do like two separate juices. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, but this is the Nama J2 juicer and it's so fancy. I love it so much. It is the easiest thing to use and clean and everything. And I actually have a whole video on it. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. And I talked about the benefits of juicing. I already started to cut my pineapple. I feel like it's definitely going bad. I swear I've had these ingredients for so long. So pineapple, ginger, lemon, like that sounds like a good mix. And then I wanted to do like my kale, my kale juice that I always do. It's called like a kale tonic at first watch. I try to mimic that. Um, so I think we're gonna start with pineapple. And oh. Probably need to cut that down a little bit more. Usually you can put like a whole fruit or vegetable in here, but it just has to like be able to close the chamber to actually work. So just chopping the pineapple a little bit so it can fit better. And then I need to cut up some ginger. I didn't take off all the peel of the ginger, but I kind of, skinned it a little bit. I don't know if skinned is the word, peeled. Come on, fit. No, dang it, okay. Well, I guess we can always start it with some of this in it and then just add once it gets lower. My favorite part. That was kind of anticlimactic since I already like let out all of the juice, but I am not going to clean this. I'm just going to make my second juice. But before I do that, obviously I have to empty out the juicing tank. When we were in California this summer, we went to Erewhon and we got juices that were actually kind of nasty, <laughs> but I loved these bottles. So I kept them and now I put my own juice in them. So that's fun. A lot of ginger it's like a, almost like a ginger shot but the pineapple is really really good that was stunning guys they're so cute for the second juice we're gonna do a kale based juice more of a green juice there's a tad bit of like pineapple left over here. Um, I'm not even mad about it because it smells really good. yummy but I feel like I'm putting like a tad bit too much ginger and honestly I feel like I could use some more apples so I think I'm gonna do that I also forgot that I had some cucumber and I needed to use it like 
yesterday because it was actually going bad so I just kind of cut off the bad part. So I got a lot of juice and I have this little juice container. I'm pretty sure I stole it from my dad several years ago. I kind of want to take off this foamy part. I hate that part. I also forgot to show you guys my banana bread from last night. It actually turned out so good. There's like a literal stick of butter in here but this is what it looks like and it was so delicious um but i have a little leftover of the green juice that wouldn't fit in that jug i'm just gonna pour it into a glass and drink some today's actually a busy day full of shooting it is so gloomy outside right now like so foggy and today was like the only sunny day of the week except for friday and so I was trying to get in all my content shooting for myself. So me and my friend Mariana are going to shoot somewhere downtown like at 10 a.m. It's currently 9.19 so I have to leave soon. At 12.30 I'm shooting at a studio space for a girl I've done her branding photos for. At 3 I'm shooting with a blogger that I shoot with every month. Taste test. Cheers. That is so good. It's honestly even better than the first time I tried to make it. I put cucumber, kale, a little lemon, actually two lemons, but one was a little larger, so, and then the other one was little, and then I put ginger, um, a lot of apples, and I think that's why it's so good, because it's sweet and yummy. The first location I was wanting to shoot at has like a million <laughs> construction cars right in front of it. So I think we're gonna have to go to plan B, which I don't know what plan B is, but I'll try to keep you guys updated. I'll probably vlog a lot on my phone. And I don't even know if I should like actually take photos on this camera. Whenever me and Mariana take photos together, I feel like we always use my camera, but I don't know. I feel like my iPhone pictures are just as good and sometimes like the engagement is higher on iPhone photos versus camera photos. So I think I might do like a little both just to have it just in case. It is really gloomy outside and if you guys didn't know, I did get a new phone last week. It's the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I already shot with it and even Ryan agreed that the camera is actually better on this phone. <laughs> Got some coffee for a prop. <laughs> actually step back like two, yeah. I meant like five. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Mariana's changing and this is my next outfit. Look how cute these are, I got them on Amazon. We're at our next location, Sea Home Power Plant. Love these green vines and then we might go to Codependent after. I'm at my shoot with Christina. Woo! We just killed it. One hour killed shoot it. and we did how many outfits? Uh, instead of in the outfit, like four? Like four or five. Yeah. I don't even know. Literally, what, what this is, this space is like on, stunning. Like, she found it on Pure Space. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like an Airbnb for floor, photo it? studios. It's so good. It's so good. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna give you a tour. It has a little kitchen, couch, rack, fitting room. <laughs> And then they have this wall that can also turn white, but then they also have like the white wall over here the and then the couch, plants, and they have these really cool like white cubes that we did some photos with. A little egg chair, some curtains, mirror, desk. They literally have it all here. It's too good. And this is the outside, very Love Shack fancy vibes. I don't think I showed the vlog this, but I did those heatless curls. Um, I put that thing in my hair last night and I took it out this morning and so it's fallen like more than I thought it would but I mean 
doesn't look horrible. I think it's because it's really humid outside. Um, but I'm heating up my lunch, just eating leftovers from last night. Headed into my second shoot of the day. Got some chai. Hank made it for me. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Aw, <laughs> love that. This is Shruti, one of my favorite bloggers. <laughs> it's 525 and when I was on the way home from my last shoot, Ryan was like, do you want to play golf with me? And usually I say no, but today was rainy. I had a lot of shoots and the sun came out. So I was like, you know what? It would be nice to just like take my mind and put it outside, literally. <laughs> I just needed some outside time and to give my mind a break because I still have a lot of work to do um, tonight, just like editing and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to be outside with the little bit of sun we have this week. It's gonna be raining tomorrow. And then on Thursday, apparently a winter freeze is coming, whatever that means. Hopefully it's not another snowstorm, but I do want like one fun snow day. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I feel like that sounds really fun. I feel like whenever I lived in Georgia, there would be like two days a year, most of the years that had like a fun snow day and nothing bad happened. But like last year we had one fun snow day in Austin and then Literally, I think it was like a week or two later the whole week. It was like frozen and like just a chaotic week So I'm just hoping that doesn't happen this year, but I feel like we need to go to the grocery store to pick up some items just in case Just in case, you know, where are we playing today? We're at Morris Williams, the home course. And Mueller. Yeah. Our favorite Crossmore area. House. Across from our dream house. We literally passed by it. Uh, well, you can't see it here, but Oh, I think it's like over there somewhere. And yeah, I think I see it, but I don't want to stare at it. it. Just breaks my heart, okay? What are we playing with today? Playing with? Yeah, what's that golf club? Uh, Isn't that what you say? We're playing with a nine and we're doing uh, it short or whatever you say. It's my Mizuno eight iron. I think Mizuno ball. Or... Wait, I have Mizuno shoes, babe. No, no. Not these, but I gave them to my mom. Yeah. What's that? That's the marker. That's 150. It's playing a little uphill. 160. Uh -huh. So we're trying to play it right on the number. It's my 160 club. So whatever that means, good babe. Good luck. You got this. No pressure. I'm filming. Yeah. <laughs> Just cup and green. Was that there. good? That's pretty good. I have a putt for birdie. So. Whatever that means, no, babe. You think after all these years I would know all of this lingo, but it's just too much, babe. It's just too much. Look at that view. The sunset's so pretty. The skyline view here is like what they're known for. Like this is a long par five. It's but you just hit it really good, right? Yeah, I laid it up actually. You what? I laid up actually. So what's laid up mean? No, like I didn't go for the green. I just left it short. Oh. Could have easily hit like a five iron there though, which I didn't realize. I kind of feel like the good goods right now. The good goods. <laughs> yeah, the good the goods. goods. The guys that play golf. Uh, the good goods. Yeah. Wait, what are they called? <laughs> I mean, just the good good like house or oh <laughs> squad. You know. <laughs> All right, put it pretty close. I really need a birdie putt here. Look at the sunset, it's so pretty. You got on. What? You got on the green. Oh, nice. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Well, Sonali just academy to my best nine hole score in this course ever, 39. If you can see it. I'm such a good caddy, y'all. I know, uh, bogey five, birdie two. That was your phone? Yeah, that was my phone. <laughs> your brand new phone. So, I'm so good at this. Over. Like, should I do this professionally? It's my best time to hold score of all time.
Good morning, it's Wednesday and it's currently like 10.30. I need to film a video ASAP because I'm gonna meet a new friend for coffee. Well, matcha for me, I don't know if she drinks coffee or not, but we're gonna go to Greater Goods here on the east side. It's like this beautiful workspace and their matcha is actually really good. So I'm excited to meet her and go there. But first things first, I need to film this video because today is posting day and I have not filmed it yet. So my filming room is kind of a mess right now. Actually, like really a mess. I wanted to do a collective haul, but I've had no time to film it. I didn't hang them up yet because I wanted them all to be in here so I could do the haul and try them on and everything. But yeah, I haven't gotten around to that yet. So it's still a freaking mess in here. So I think I'm gonna try to like clean up like a little corner and then film my video and then probably head out the door. But I just had like a little yogurt with granola just so I could eat something really fast before I film so I can get a little energy in me. But I am still hungry and I really, really want to make like avocado toast. So hopefully I have time. I just wanted to update you guys before I like switch my lens to my filming like sit down videos lenses. Um, honestly, I switch it up a lot of the time. This lens right here is the Sigma 35 1.2 lens and a 1.2 just gives a really nice blurry background. I just changed the lens and you can see that is a lot tighter of a shot and then the background's a lot blurrier even though it was just a white background so you might not be able to tell. I got my video done and Ryan was like, are you actually gonna wear that out? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> like, I don't think this is like really PJs. I feel like it's definitely like more of a lounge pant. I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm thinking it's PJs, but I don't really care. I'm comfy, it's cute. This is from Nasty Gal, I believe. This whole set is together and Nasty Gal is pretty affordable. And then I have like my mini Uggs on. And I'm just gonna wear like my camel wool coat. Packed up all my stuff in my base black tote. And I'm kind of sad because whenever I got this, the nude color was not in stock. And I really just needed like a big tote bag for all of my stuff for these computer days. But now that it's back in stock, I really love the nude even more than the black. But I'll link everything that I just talked about down below. She's leaving me. Unfortunately, she has to go back to work, but we had a little matcha date. I had such a good time meeting Hannah. I feel like we were just talking about some random deep shit. We met because of TikTok, and honestly, I've met so many people in Austin, specifically through like social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook groups, like all of that kind of stuff. And I think that is just so cool. After Hannah left, I chopped up my video and edited it a little bit, but now I'm just gonna go home, put some music over it, and like color grade it, all that kind of fun stuff. And I need to eat something. I really want some avocado toast, so maybe I'll make that when I get home. My video is uploading, so I thought I would take a little break and do an Amazon haul. I've seen this all over TikTok. These are just like hair vitamins, and I thought you eat them, but you don't. You actually like rip open the capsule and put it throughout your ends like hair oil, and apparently it's supposed to help with breakage and just make it a lot healthier. And honestly, I don't know why today I just realized my hair is actually getting a lot longer, which thank God, because I really did miss my long hair. And I want it to be really, really long for the summer, like literally like down here i don't know if that's going to be possible because ever since i dyed my hair it doesn't grow as fast which sucks but i want my hair really long for all my travels this summer so this next thing is kind of random but it's basically a lazy susan for my makeup i'm just gonna have to set this up but basically my thought process was to put my makeup on this and i can actually bring it every time to my desk and do my makeup at my desk and sit down and do my makeup because sometimes I just want to sit. But I got rid of my vanity that I had in my old place because this place was a little bit smaller. And I thought it would just be nice to be able to just like transport it so I could like put it under my sink and it wouldn't take up like that much drawer space on top if that makes sense. So I got that. I am obsessed with salt. Like I love salty foods. I douse my food in salt and it's really really bad but for some reason i just needed this flaky salt and lava salt this would be for like margaritas or like cocktails and then this is just for like baked goods i actually wanted to try it on my banana bread so that's why i'm opening all these packages you guys probably think i'm crazy but i don't know i just love like a good sweet and salty situation 
just like the perfect amount of salt just like a little flaky salt i also want to try to make chocolate chip cookies with flaky salt on top i feel like that would be so good Good morning, happy Thursday. We woke up to a little bit of snow on the ground. Everything's really, really icy outside and super freezing, even though I have not even tried going outside. Ryan took out Sophie this morning because I just cannot handle the cold. I'm not sure if you can even see it, but there's snow on the ground and then all of our plants are like dead and icy and <laughs> the couch is probably like frozen too. Also, we just got an email that apparently there's no hot water in our apartment building. I definitely was not expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that, like not this soon either. Hopefully that doesn't take too long to get fixed because I think someone's coming out today to fix it. It's been some time since I made my avocado toast, so I've just been doing a lot of computer work this morning and I was planning on filming a video this morning, but I just kind of like wanted to knock off some things on my to-do list so I can like, you know, breathe a little bit easier and just like be more chill. Um, just cause I feel like there's like a million things going on in my mind. But that being said, I'm hitting my midday slump. So I could either make a chai or drink some juice that I made, but I'm kind of feeling a chai. So let's do it. You guys know that I have like a glassware obsession. I don't know where this even came from, but my new Amazon glassware just came in the mail. And I have to say, this is like probably one of my top two favorite glasses that I own. It was like this bubble shape and it's so beautiful. So we're going to be using it for the first time today. And my skinny chai concentrate. It's kind of a lot. Actually, should I just finish it all off? Might as well. <laughs> Some oat milk. It's so cute. I feel like I should be drinking something warm right now. I literally like see, I don't even know what's going on outside. Is it freezing rain? Is it sleet? I don't even know, but I see it and I hear it on my window like tapping. But today I have a lot of stuff on my to-do list. Basically, biggest thing that I wanna do is clean this room and just like get it looking nice so I can actually use my poof and edit here. I feel like the past week and a half, it's just been like the room that you just throw everything in that you're not using at the moment so the whole rest of the apartment can be clean. The number one thing that has to get done today is to film my collective haul that I've been pushing off for a really long time and that's why this room is not clean because the clothes are everywhere. Other than that, I have some photos to edit from my previous photo shoots. I wanna do some linking on Amazon. I started to post these really cute graphics on my Instagram stories, like one a week. I kind of want to like up it to two a week. I would like link things that are new to my Amazon storefront. So those are really fun. And I also want to do a couple of those for like Valentine's Day. So like outfits for Valentine's Day or like a night in for Valentine's Day or just like gifts to get yourself or gifts to give to your partner. So I wanna do that today. And I also wanna start editing this vlog so I don't have to do it all tomorrow. I definitely have like a lot of little things that I have to do, but I wanna make those my main priorities of the day. I've also been putting off getting like curtains for the windows of my filming room and I was gonna get it for our bedroom, but Ryan was like, I'm kinda of used to not having them now. So I think I'm just gonna focus on getting them here. But basically when we painted our apartment all white, they took off like all all the blinds and everything so I haven't had blinds in this room for so long and when I film most of the time I film in the afternoon and if it's a sunny day which it pretty much always is here in Texas like the sun will shine directly on the couch where I'm trying to film and it's just like too much direct sunlight and I could switch my couch that way and it would actually help a lot because the sun's coming in on this way but the closet is over here, so it's just like a little bit shorter on that side and I don't want it to be like hard for Ryan to get in his closet, you know? So that's not really an option. So plan B is to get some curtains and not blackout curtains because I don't want it to be too dark in here, but like some really pretty like linen curtains. So I want to like measure how long they need to be and just look on Amazon for like a curtain rod. I think I talked about this in last week's vlog when we were hanging up that mirror right over my desk. And I was asking if I should like hang up those beach prints over my couch and like at first I was like strongly considering it but now I'm just like you know what I really like having a blank wall to film on it's just like nice to have you know and I guess I could get like some clear command strips and then if I need a blank wall I can always like take off the pictures. <sighs> 
I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, but I feel like there's some other space that I could put the paintings on. Like maybe like back there somewhere so that like, I usually film like on this side where the cactus is. So if I put them like back there, like stacked on top of each other, but they're kind of like supposed to be stacked like horizontal, like here and here, not here and here, because it's like a full picture, but just two separate frames, do you see what I'm saying? I don't know, we'll figure that out. We got a lot of things to figure out and just like clean up. Seriously, this is like a disaster and I feel like every week, like yes, I'm addicted to Amazon, but will I ever stop purchasing random shit off Amazon? No, because I do not have willpower. Like the other night, I really wanted to buy an air fryer because we have the Instant Pot air fryer lid, but obviously the Instant Pot isn't on like our counter. So every time I have to like take it out and yes, that's a first world problem. I was thinking about just getting a white air fryer so we can put it like in the corner of our coffee machine so you can't really see it. And it's like on our counter so we can like heat up food really, really fast and just like, be super efficient about it and people have said that air fryers have changed their life and like the instant pot air fryer is awesome like the lid like I was saying but it's just so heavy and I really hate taking it out and I don't know I feel like it would just be so much easier if it was just on our countertop also something super freaking cool and exciting that I don't know why I haven't talked about on the vlog because I think I got the email like earlier this week I just kept forgetting to tell you guys but basically if you go on Amazon and search my name, Jess Sonali, not even Sonali Prabhu, but Jess Sonali, you can click on that profile and that's my Amazon storefront. So if you ever have like an Amazon gift card or just want to quickly find my Amazon glassware and you don't want to go through the link on my YouTube to Amazon and all of that kind of stuff, you can literally just search my name on Amazon and I pop right up. And then you can click on my profile picture. It brings you straight to my Amazon storefront with all of my categories. Apparently they said it was like invite only. I don't know how true that is, but I just feel so cool that you can look my freaking first name up on Amazon and I'm just right there. Like, I just can't get over it. So that is very exciting. But as always, I'll have the Amazon storefront linked in the description box as well as my cute little glassware. I filmed my collective haul and now I'm just going to marinate some chicken for tonight's dinner. I think we're gonna just make some chicken taco bowls. I'm also watching some YouTube videos from Delaney Childs. I feel like I've never seen her YouTube videos, but they're such high quality. And so I'm literally gonna go binge all of her videos. Um, I follow her on Instagram, but I don't know. I just didn't know that she had a YouTube channel. I usually just cut up the chicken, put a little sour cream and the seasoning in a plastic bag and then let that marinate. Usually I'll do it overnight. Um, just forgot yesterday. Kind of lazy last night i still have a lot of computer work to get done today and i was thinking i really want to start content batching for reels but, but then i realized that trends come and go so fast so if i created a reel on monday and wanted to post it on friday i feel like that sound might not be trending anymore you know so it's like so much harder with like tiktok and instagram reels as a whole to just like plan ahead of time. Ryan and I are gonna go on a walk just to like get outside because I feel like we're getting a little bit of cabin fever. So I thought we could layer together. So first I have this heat tech kind of long sleeve shirt I got on Amazon. I got it in white and black because I knew I was gonna wear this all the time, which I do. I am very dramatic when it comes to the cold. I like to be as layered up as possible because I'd rather be more comfortable or more warm than freezing my butt off and just miserable. I purchased some leggings and some biker shorts on Amazon so we're gonna open them up and I'll let you know what the quality is like. I was on the verge of getting some splits 59 leggings again but I was like honestly I feel like Amazon has pretty similar quality so I just wanted to try them out. Okay so these are the biker shorts and I will say it's definitely a lot thinner than Lululemon but similar to my splits 59 Raquel leggings or the flared leggings I actually have leggings and flared leggings from them. They do feel pretty similar to that. So this is a good sign. I also haven't tried the Lululemon aligns and I think they're definitely like different quality. I got like Lululemon leggings in high school and they were like a lot thicker back then and they look like a really good length. Leggings feel pretty similar to those biker shorts. I think I did buy them from the same brand so that would make sense. Um, but they're just normal leggings. So I wish they were like even more high-waisted. Like this is where they come on me and I guess that is high-waisted, but it kind of feels like they're slowly like coming down on me. They're definitely very comfortable and I really wish that I knew what those Lululemon aligns 
felt like so I can kind of compare them to those because I feel like those are definitely like the new standard. The sun is finally coming out today um, but I'm gonna just wear my aloe set. Seriously this is like one of my favorite purchases recently because I've been wearing it so often. I got this crew neck kind of hoodie. It's in the color cocoa and so I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna put the matching sweats. This is like the accolade crew neck and then those are the Accolade sweatpants. And I'm kind of sad because I was literally going online to aloe, aloeyoga.com. I don't even know if it's aloe or whatever. Um, I wanted to purchase another sweat set because I wear this one so much. So I was going to get like a different color, but same sweat set. But they don't even have that many colors. That was really sad because I would have totally bought another aloe sweat set. These are the sweatpants, just little joggers at the bottom. I'm just going to put those on over my leggings. What? Are you serious? No, <laughs> what is it? What was the temperature out? Twenty eight. Okay, should I wear my long puffer or the short puffer? Yeah. The long one. Also, what shoes am I gonna wear? Should I wear those like waterproof cheetah boots? Mm -hmm. Like I haven't worn those. But I think they're tight on my feet because I haven't worn them. So this was featured in my collective haul. And I got it on Misguided. Yay! I should probably bring a scarf too, but I think I'm gonna do this brown one instead to match, you know, the neutral aesthetic. Cute. Should I wear my Ghani beanie or my girlfriend collective beanie? Am I being dramatic? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Snow day! <laughs> oh, whoa. It's in cinematic mode and I didn't even realize. Just crunching in some ice. It's not that cold. The yeah. Arcteric's Arch personality going. Last year, Ryan was like obsessed with waterproof stuff. And there, I took all the down stuff now. There is like a phase where he was like getting so many random waterproof jackets <laughs> and stuff. Gore-Tex or whatever. I don't even know, but... I guess he's prepared now. Yeah, I paid off, huh? Don't ask why, but when I was a child, I loved playing in creeks. Now that I have my waterproof boots on from Dolce Vita, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> so fun! I made chicken taco bowls for dinner, onion, red bell pepper, the chicken, avocado, salsa, and then I'm gonna squeeze the lime on top. Happy Friday, we literally just got our hot water back and I washed my hair in the sink this morning with just like cold water because I wanted to wait to take a body shower after I worked out, but my head was itching so bad that I was like, I need to wash my hair now. So, I'm glad we got hot water back. Um, but this morning I was just kind of working on uh, scheduling people, sending out contracts for photography, editing a Friday video, and then after I get back from the gym, I'm gonna start editing my week in my life because I haven't started it. And I feel like this happens every single Friday where I'm just like, dang it, why did I wait this long to start it? But I really didn't have that much time, so all good. I don't know what my hair is doing right here, but it needs to absolutely not. <laughs> Like what? Wearing an outfit from Set Active. Oh, I'm definitely wearing these backwards. Bra is actually their Lux form material that I usually don't get. I always get, what is it called? Sculpt Flex, yeah, Sculpt Flex is the ribbed material. That's what the one I always get, but I wanted to try it out and I actually really like it. Um, if I had bigger boobs like I used to, if you guys didn't know, I just got a brush reduction in September, but if I did have my big boobs, not sure this would really fit me and it is a large, but I do love their Sculpt Flex ribbed bras. They're just definitely more supportive and you can even lounge in them and they're just so cute. I love Set Active. I'm gonna stop rambling and just go to the gym, walk on the treadmill for a bit, Probably just watch some YouTube videos and kind of give my mind a break and then we'll come back up here and edit.
got that post-workout glow and just drinking some juice that I made earlier this week. This one's so good. It's pineapple, ginger, and lemon. I think I've said that like probably three times in this vlog already, but it is really good. So I definitely will make this concoction again. It's honestly so much fun playing around with the juicer and just like seeing what goes well together. Me and Ryan actually did a juice challenge and he put jalapeno in one of his juices. And like, it wasn't horrible, but it was definitely spicy. I have this like really weird dry patch on my face and I used to have eczema, like really bad eczema, but like I haven't had, I don't even know if you can tell, but there's like, just like dry skin. And usually I get it like up here, but not like this bad, but it's like flaky and like hurting. It almost like feels like I have a rug burn on my chin. I'm gonna do the sheet mask from Rael. It's like one of my favorite sheet masks. They have like a bunch of different like collagen, tea tree oil, hydrating, but I think I'm just gonna use this one because it's the first one I got. So let's put it on. This room has been a disaster for a couple weeks now. And since I actually filmed my collective haul yesterday, it's time to actually clean it up and hang everything up. It's like so freaking horrible. And I'm just so excited to do this because I've been needing to do this for so long. So I'm just gonna be here hanging up clothes for like, well, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but maybe I can get it done in 30 minutes. Let's see. It's a good bit later and we decided that we really want sushi so we're gonna try to get a table at Sushi Janai which is like next to UT's campus. Honestly, I don't know if we'll be able to get in but wish us luck. Manifesting some good vibes so we can get a table so we can get some sushi. <laughs> Thirty-seven fifty-two minutes so we can, we can wait. Yeah. He went in at 7.15. And he just got a text that the table's ready and it's 7.29, so we didn't have to wait for long. Hi! Hi, Sophie! Hi, Sophie! Sophie, Sophie! We're back home from Sushi Janai. Basically, you can do all you can eat sushi for, I think it's like $37 at dinner time, and it is so good. The nigiri is really, really good because the rice is kind of warm, but the fish itself on the nigiri is a little bit thinner than like a regular sushi place, so that's like the only con, but obviously you can order as much as you want, and honestly, the rolls are really, really good too. The Lisa Lisa Final Destination and I'm trying to think of the other ones. I don't know, it's not coming over my head, but it's so good. So if you're in Austin, definitely try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I don't have anything else going on on this Friday night. It's literally 8.46 and I think I'm gonna take a hot shower and just kind of get into like a self-care mode. I'm also gonna be vlogging this weekend because we're gonna do a little staycation in downtown Austin. So get pumped for that vlog. And go follow me on Instagram if you guys are not already. I post a lot of Austin Rex, Amazon faves, fashion content, all that good stuff. Stuff. My username is so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!